Thank you for choosing SportScope for all of your video needs. The 20-foot SportScope can be carried and placed at your desired location on the field. Loosen the upper collar knob and fully extend the three legs out to an appropriate length. Then loosen the lower collar knob and drop the pole until it is resting on the ground, and then tighten both collar knobs. Next, remove the wireless camera head from the hard case and securely attach to the top of the tower as shown. Be sure that the threads on the bottom of the wireless head and the top of the tower are properly aligned. Connect all three color-coded wires to the wireless head's battery as shown. These will power the internal computer, hand tilt motors, and the camera. Then select the power button to activate the battery. Open the camera viewfinder to turn on the camera, and then connect the HDMI cord as shown. This concludes the wireless camera head setup. Before raising the tower, first insert the blue ethernet cable into the bottom of the wireless camera head. Next, loosen the highest knob and begin raising the top pole. Always keep one hand on the pole at all times. Once you feel the pole stopper at its maximum height, lower the pole a few inches and tighten the knob. Clip the cable into the carabiners to keep it from blowing in the wind and repeat this process for each stage until fully extended. To set up the wireless network, First, power the end zone router using the ground side end zone battery. Always be sure the battery is set to 20 volts. Use the power cord with the blue label to connect from the blue port on the battery to the power port on the router. Next, connect the 30 foot long blue ethernet cable to the blue port on the router. Now remove the end zone antenna from the hard case and connect its ethernet cable to the black port on the router. Attach the antenna to about a five foot high position on the end zone pole using the Velcro strap and then angle to wherever your position with the iPad will be. Place the router and battery in the hard case to keep them protected from the weather, but do not fully clamp the hard case latches as this can pinch the wires. To set up the iPad controls, first go to your iPad settings, select Wi-Fi, and then select your in-zone camera wireless network. Input your password to secure the connection. Then open the SportScope app, select the menu button, and go to Games. From here, select New to create a new game. You'll then input the details about your new game, such as which sport, home or away, and team names. Then make sure your end zone camera is ready and is highlighted in white. Finally, select Start Game. Now that the game has been created, you'll be taken to the live view. To operate the end zone camera, touch your thumb to the right side of the screen to control the panning and tilting. By selecting the gear icon, you can change a number of camera and pan tilt settings, such as auto clipping, hand tilt sensitivity, and inverted or left-handed controls. Use the on-screen ODK to select whether your team for this play is on offense, defense, or kicking. Select the record button to start recording the play, and touch your thumb to the left side of the screen to control zoom in and zoom out. For both virtual touchpads, the more you move outside the on-screen circle, the faster your camera will pan, tilt, and zoom. Zoom has two speeds, while pan and tilt has a wide range of speeds. Once the play is over, select the record button again. The play gets recorded to your camera's memory card, but there will also be a backup copy on the iPad. Thank you for watching. For more information, call or email us using the details on screen.